His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to today Bahrain's desert areas in the Southern Governorate. His Majesty the King was informed of the efforts made by the Supreme Council for the Environment in these areas to preserve the environment and the wildlife. He also saw the rare baobab tree, which he ordered to be brought to Bahrain and planted, as Bahrain has succeeded in expanding its planting based on the efforts made to preserve wildlife. His Majesty praised the plans and projects of the Supreme Council for the Environment and the cooperation and efforts of the relevant government agencies to preserve this natural wealth bestowed upon the Kingdom of Bahrain. He directed to pay attention and care to these areas, especially since Bahrain includes areas worthy of visiting for recreation and spending vacation during this time of the year. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa deputized His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend the closing ceremony of the Ironman 70.3 Bahrain Middle East Championship. The ceremony was attended by the Vice Chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment, Vice Chairman of the Rashad Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, along with their Excellencies and senior officials. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad emphasized that the tournament's organization coincides with Bahrain's continued entry into a new phase of development and achievement during the reign of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also said that this event aims to reinforce the pillars of sport in the kingdom, showcase its continuous development and establish Bahrain as a destination for continental and international sports tournaments. He expressed pride and that of the sports community in Bahrain and the tireless efforts made by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister in continuing to support the sports sector in Bahrain and the pioneering steps taken by the government to make sports a priority of the government's work. He thanked His Royal Highness for sponsoring the Middle East Ironman Championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the success of the eighth edition of this Middle East Ironman Championship confirms the Kingdom's ability to make a great difference in the history of this sport and organize an exceptional edition in all respects, in addition to Bahrain's multiple gains in various fields. He thanked all parties and the organizing committee for their efforts in organizing an ideal edition and congratulating the winners of first places in various categories. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad crowned the men's and women's champions with team victorious Bahrain Vincent Lewis winning the men's pro category and his teammate Georgia Taylor Brown winning the women's title. The ceremony held at Reef Island also honored the collaborators, sponsoring companies and the organizing committee. The commander of the Special Forces, Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on winning the Royal Rumble Boxing Championship after defeating the British Royal Army Engineers team 6 2 in the tournament organized by the Bahrain Boxing Federation. His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad also congratulated the Commander-in-Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Highness said that this achievement reflects His Majesty the King's unlimited support for Bahraini sports, the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister in supporting the sports movement, the interest of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the follow-up of the BDF Commander-in-Chief for all BDF athletes. He praised the team's spirit of challenge and competition to achieve a sporting achievement that reflects the advanced status of Bahraini boxing and the great development of combat sports. He also stressed that boxing is one of the important Olympic combat sports that attract the attention of many fans and that the development of any sport requires organizing competitions and tournaments that contribute to providing a strong competitive atmosphere to guarantee an elite group of players. He said that the Royal Rumble Boxing Championship is one of the champions that will have a positive impact in promoting the sports of boxing, wishing the Royal Bahraini Guard team every success.
Now in the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Authority of the Russian Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the fifth race of the 24-25 horse racing season was held for the Cups of the Arabian Horse Foundation for Equestrian and Veterinary Services, the Arab Shipbuilding and Repair Yard Company, and the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. This event was held at the racetrack in Rafa and was attended by a number of their highnesses, representatives of the race sponsors and an audience of enthusiasts. The winners were crowned with the race cups as Hussein Hassan El Madhu presented the Arabian Horse Foundation Cup for the first round to the winning trainer Abdullah Kuwaiti, while Sajjad Hassan El Madhu presented the third round cup to the winning owner Ali Jaffa Dawish. Nicolas Comares presented the sixth round cup to the winning owner Jasser Mohammed, while the CEO of the Rashad Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Yusuf Osama Bouhaji, presented the club cup to Abdullah Fawzi Nas. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa received the cup for the eighth round uh, from Ali Hassan Al Madhoub. His Highness Sheikh Sultan Ad-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa also received the ASRI Cup from the Vice President of Corporate Support Affairs at ASRI, Sheikh Daij bin Mohammed bin Daij Al Khalifa. Bahraini rider Ibrahim Nader excelled by scoring three victories in the first, third, and sixth rounds. The race consisted of nine rounds. <coughs> Under the reign of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain is witnessing a distinguished international presence at all levels, including its leading role in the use of information and communication technologies in the scientific and knowledge and digital fields. The Minister of Public Affairs at the Royal Court, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Nuaimi, and the Archivist of the Vatican Apostolic Library, Monsignor Angelo Vincenzo Zani, signed a cooperation agreement between the King Hamad Digital Library and the Royal Archives Center in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Vatican Apostolic Library in the presence of senior officials. The cooperation will allow the King Hamad Digital Library and the Royal Archives to benefit from the Vatican Library's digital platform, manuscripts and documents, and expertise in archiving, de digitizing, and preserving documents. Dr. Nuhaimi said that the signing of this memorandum includes strengthening cooperation in digital cataloging, conservation and restoration of manuscripts, joint research projects, seminars, and collaborative research. He said that this cooperation will allow researchers and interested parties in Bahrain to benefit from the knowledge resources available in the Vatican Apostolic Library through King Hamad Digital Library, especially those related to manuscripts donated to the Vatican Apostolic Library. At the invitation of the Vatican Apostolic Library, Dr. Noaimi later led the delegation from the Royal Archives Center of Bahrain to the Dialogue and Libraries Conference at the Vatican. The minister emphasized that the participation of the King Hamad Digital Library and the Royal Archives Center in this conference was aimed at learning from various international experiences in library science and digital archiving, as well as exchanging expertise to keep pace with global developments in this field. He praised the fruitful cooperation between the two sides in the field of restoring Arabic and Islamic manuscripts and providing access to them to researchers and interested parties in Bahrain. Now, Team Bahrain continues to achieve accomplishments at all levels, local and international ones, in accordance with the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, won the Best Arab Minister Award within the Arab Government Excellence Award initiative organized by the League of Arab States, reflecting international appreciation for the efforts of the members of Team Bahrain for their achievements in terms of development and economic growth. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, since assuming responsibility for the Ministry of Finance, has been keen to enhance the role of the Ministry and its contribution to attaining achievements that have had positive impact on the national economy. 
The minister has strengthened the role of the Ministry of Finance and National Economy in supporting the financial and banking sector, which is one of the main pillars of the national economy. Under his leadership, Bahrain has continued to achieve advanced positions in global competitiveness reports while providing an attractive environment for regional and international companies and financial institutions. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, met with the International Association of Marine Aids to Navigation and Lighthouse Authority Secretary General Francis Zakaria. The meeting discussed enhancing technical cooperation, sharing professional expertise, and exchanging information in maritime navigation safety. The minister said that the Ports and Maritime Affairs looks forward to further cooperation and partnership with the international organization and benefit from its expertise and training programs to enhance the safety and efficiency of ship traffic and improve the procedures for installing, operating and maintaining navigational aids. The IALA Secretary General thanked the minister for his keenness in enhancing cooperation with this international organization in maritime navigational aids. He said that this cooperation supports Bahrain's efforts to enhance the security and safety of maritime navigation in its territorial waters and to protect global maritime corridors. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf bin Mohammed al Mauda, attended the 40th session of the Arab Justice Minister's Council at the Arab League headquarters in Cairo. The meeting discussed agreements and legislations, including the Arab Convention on Combating Information Technology Offences and the implementation of decisions related to the Arab Anti-Corruption Convention. They also reviewed the draft Arab Convention on Regulating Status of Refugees in Arab Countries and the draft Arab Convention on Personal Data Protection. Other topics included the proposed Arab Advisory Draft Law to prevent hate speech. The Council also discussed a draft law for the protection and assistance of displaced persons in Arab states, a model law to protect children from recruitment in armed conflicts, and updates to the Arab model law on combating narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances. They reviewed enhancing joint Arab action, including collaboration between the secretaries of the Arab Justice and Interior Ministers' Councils, and selecting members for the Executive Committee. <coughs> The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf bin Mohammed al-Mauda, met with Egypt's Minister of Justice, Adnan Fangari, on the sidelines of the 40th session of the Council of Arab Justice Ministers. al mauda highlighted the strong ties between Bahrain and Egypt and their ongoing cooperation, particularly judicial affairs. The meeting also discussed the agenda of the Council of Arab Justice Ministers and its Executive Bureau. They reviewed pathways for enhancing bilateral cooperation in justice and judiciary matters. Saint Arabia 2024 continues to attract visitors amidst a wide presence of leading brands in the world of perfumery. The exhibition offers a wide variety of exclusive and luxurious fragrances that are characteristic of the Gulf region. It is also an exceptional experience for perfume lovers and connoisseurs to discover all that is new in the world of perfumery. And the curtain falls today on the activities of the Jewelry Arabia 24 after it witnessed a remarkable turnout by visitors from inside and outside Bahrain. Visitors emphasized that the exhibition evolves annually with all the jewels, gold jewelry and luxury watches to meet their desires and said and sell them in the world of elegance. We have more in this report. Jewelry Arabia 2024 has attracted the attention of jewelry enthusiasts who are looking for excellence and elegance as the brands participating in the exhibition, both local and international, offer attractive pieces, some of which are specially designed for this exhibition. Jewelry Arabia has established itself on the throne of luxury through special designs in addition to the exclusive promotions offered by the exhibition which stand out to visitors, making it an annual destination for jewelry enthusiasts from inside and outside Bahrain. Catering to different tastes and offering products characterized by quality, elegance and luxury is the most unique feature of this prestigious exhibition. 
Everyone who wanders between its corridors is fascinated by the precise formulation of jewelry pieces special by the shine of gold and the sparkle of diamonds, while watches belonging to international brands had a share of demand in their corner distributed throughout the Jewelry Arabia 2024. Meanwhile, Cityscape Bahrain 24 continues to welcome visitors and investors on its final day. The exhibition witnessed a wide public turnout thanks to the distinguished collection of innovative real estate projects. These diverse projects received special attention from investors and visitors as they represent a qualitative step towards strengthening the real estate sector, confirming its position as a leading platform to showcase the kingdom's progress in real estate development and sustainable development. Now, in preparation for hosting the 45th GCC Summit, Kuwait launched a media campaign promoting the summit through various events and decorations. And we have more in this report with Mohammed Youssef. Kuwait is preparing to host the 45th Gulf Summit, scheduled to be held on December 1st, by decorating the main streets with the flags of the GCC countries and pictures of their majesties and highnesses, the leaders of the GCC as part of a comprehensive media campaign under the slogan, The Future is Gulf. The Kuwaiti Ministry of Information launched this campaign with the aim of raising awareness about the Gulf Summit and promoting it. The campaign included decorating the main streets, highways, Kuwait International Airport, shopping malls and public markets, using text messages and billboards on main roads, in addition to various media outlets. The communication networks of all telecommunications companies were also unified, under GCC 45 during the summit period. These efforts come within the framework of Kuwait's keenness to display the streets and roads in an aesthetic manner befitting this important event and to enhance the spirit of Gulf belonging among citizens and residents. In an atmosphere full of welcome and brotherhood, Kuwait launched a media campaign about the Gulf Summit in preparation for receiving the leaders of the GCC which reflects the close relations between the GCC countries and the strong cooperation in all fields. And yes, the future is Gulf. From Kuwait, reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. Kuwait has completed all preparations to host and receive their majesties and highnesses and Gulf Arab leaders participating in this 45th GCC summit, which will begin on Sunday. The summit will discuss important topics, especially political and economic ones. Its agenda will include the discussion of strategic partnerships and cybersecurity, in addition to discussing the completion of electrical and railway interconnection between GCC countries. GCC Secretary General Jassim Al Badawi said that the GCC countries' negotiations with China on a free trade agreement have reached the final stage. Al Badawi emphasized that the FTA will open up markets for the benefit of all parties. He described relations between the GCC and China as excellent, noting that the two sides coordinate on various issues. He said that the prestigious position enjoyed by GCC countries is thanks to the common denomination of having a single foreign policy that supports international peace and security. He also said that the international community views the GCC as a credible and reliable strategic partner that has no hidden agenda. The Kingdom of Bahrain participated in the media exhibition accompanying the 45th GCC summit in Kuwait. Bahrain's pavilion provided a comprehensive introduction to visitors by displaying a range of books and important media material that reflect the history and civilization of the kingdom. Key publications include Two Prosperous Decades, a book which provides an objective and scientific insight into the leadership of His Majesty the King and his pioneering efforts in achieving comprehensive progress across all sectors. The exhibition is an important platform to highlight the current and, and history of the Gulf region and the efforts made to promote national identity. <laughs> 